Hey everyone, it's Christy from Everyday Survival Gear and today we are reviewing this basic headlamp that is so basic that it has no name. What is going on? It could have just been called the Headlamp Dampy Dampy or something. At least name it something. So what is it? It is a like a Cree XHP50 wink wink nudge nudge rechargeable headlamp mining urinating camping alien searching headlamp. It doesn't really say that, but that would be pretty cool if it was, right? So, for 10 US dollars, well, 15 with tax and shipping, what do you expect? It's so cheap, they couldn't hire someone to, to name it. Uh, they could have just gone on like one of these spin the wheel AliExpress naming things where you just name it like you put in A and it comes up with Aquacombo and then they name it that. Pretty simple. But I must say, for the whole 15 US dollars shipped, you do get a magnetic charger. You do get a headband for the headlamp. So there's a headband here. You do get a clip. You get this O-ring that I don't know if I put it there myself or if it came in here. And uh, you also get a lanyard, which is just here. Unless this came from another light. I'm pretty sure you get a lanyard. I've been doing this so long. The quality of the reviews are just getting better and better each time, aren't they? Ah. Uh... I'm going to be straight out and be honest with you guys, I have not looked at this light. Like, I have had it for probably maybe a year, over a year, and it just sat here. It took a long time to get here, and then once I got it, it wasn't like the worst light, but I just didn't have anything to do with it. So I just left it, and then I came across it again, and I was like, oh, cool. You know, like, sometimes I just buy things like that, because apparently I like wasting money on bullshit. But, you know, sometimes it makes for an interesting video and I can use parts in it or I can mod it myself and then, you know, use it. So that's probably why I brought it because I thought I was going to mod it and then it never happened. We're probably like 40 minutes into the video and I'm just starting the specs here. So uh, the specs from the company are it's a generic headlamp, a Cree. Well, they don't say it's a Cree, but they said it's an XHP50, right? So you assume that it's a Cree, but who knows? They said it's a clicky switch, but it's a not. It's a but it's a nota. It's an E switch with a light. When you charge it, it's got a uh, green and red, red and green light. Uh, it's got three modes, which uh, two of them have bad PWM. It's got a built-in 1800 milliamp hour battery, and it's an 18650. That's rechargeable from the uh, magnetic dock here, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's net weight is 90 grams. They would reckon it throws 200 meters with these optics. The optics do look pretty cool, right? Uh, magnetic charging, as I've probably said now like 10,000 times. So you just get it close enough and it should hook, ooh, ooh. hook up. There we go. And it's on. Short circuit city. Um, aluminium alloy. It is a pretty well built light besides the driver. I must say it does, I mean... I know I said it a hundred times, but it looks pretty cool. Um, it's hard anodizing type 2. They reckon it's IPX6. It might be because, you know, the only charging part is this part here. Uh, impact resistant to 2 meters. We should probably try that out, but it's night time now, so I don't have a chance. Um, the other specs are just measured by me. The light is 105 mils long, 24 mils wide here, and this diameter here is about 20 mils something. That's all that I've done. So let's delve deeper into the light and explore its insides. So uh, it's supposed to have a Cree XHP 50 point. No, just a Cree XHP 50. Actually, take off the Cree. Minus. Minus. Discount the Cree. This is an XHP 50. I cannot verify that. It's not very bright. It's only like a few hundred lumens. And it does have bad PWM. Even though that's got nothing to do with anything. So I don't think it's going to be an XHP50. But I am pretty interested to see what's underneath. But the bezel is press fit on. So I was worried that if I take it apart. I might break it. And then we no longer get the video. So I'll probably take it apart. And if I do. I'll uh, After the video. I'll uh, put a little annotation here. And I'll let you guys know with some photos. Ah silly me. I had one job. The one thing I forgot to tell you that it in includes is the one reason what makes this light a little bit shifty. Well, 
The second reason what makes this light a little bit shifty is the included 18650 1800 milliamp hour battery which I did talk about on the specs but um, yeah so it does come with this cell the cell is unknown so I don't know how confident you are with uh, cheap lithium ion cells if you want to strap one to your head that's up to you I would prefer not to but I have done it in the past you could always just like rip the whole headband off and just launch it I guess but it depends what you're doing you know if you're in like surgery that's probably not a good thing but <laughs> I don't think you're going to be using a $10 headlamp unless you're like a mechanic can be a car surgeon, right? So unless you're a mechanic or a car surgeon, we will now call you, and you rip it off and someone's car lights on fire, well, then you're all stuffed, aren't we? But in the process of making this video, I actually touched the light. Touch my buddy. And I realized that you can actually use a standard uh, lithium ion 18650 in here, and it does fit. And it doesn't short circuit. So because the positive and the negative are both at the back here for the magnetic charging, you can see here that there's positive and negative, and they're both even, so that's the issue. But because you're only completing a circuit, it's not going to short circuit because it's only negative coming through here. If you try and charge it, then you're going to have a problem. But if you're only running a normal cell, you can still run the normal cell, just don't try and charge it. And it should be fine. Here, let me show you. I'm going to look for a nuclear explosion and put it in here right now. Hopefully we don't get one, but... And we still get PWM. Uh, strobe mode. Actually... Ironically, strobe mode does not have PWM. Bastards. Or you just insert the stock battery and you give it to your enemy for Christmas. Like so. It does have... Like, getting serious, I know I've been talking shit this whole video, right? But it is a cool looking light. I've probably said that 8,000 times now. Um, it does have O-rings here. It should have an O-ring here, hopefully. Yeah, it does. It has an O-ring there. That's the driver there. The driver is pretty easy access. You know, if you did want to mod this and take this driver out, it looks like someone's already had a crack at it, which was probably me. But I do not remember having a crack at it, actually. So, I'm not sure. Um, and then, uh, you can take the LED out by undoing the bezel. And you should also be able to access the switch here. It might be easier to shut something in there, access the switch and then try and get the bezel out. That's probably the easiest way to do it. But yeah, like overall, the build quality is really good. Like the body itself is good. Like the LED works. Sure, it's probably not like a great LED, but for 10 bucks, uh, you know, I went into this video, like I said, and I was pretty negative about this light. Like it does have the PWM, so I do not recommend it. But you, if you're just gonna mod it, it's not that bad. It's, it's okay. You're doing okay, kid. You're doing okay. I must say, arguably, probably the headband itself is, like, worth $10. Like, there's companies out there that charge that much, like Nightcore, um, Immolet. Like, how much is just the headband, the head, head strap? Eh, so, eh, not the worst boy, I guess. Alright, guys. As I was wrapping up this video, I mean, like, I've edited it. I've uploaded it. I was just getting some thumbnails ready now. Um, I was playing with this light again, and I discovered that it actually has three modes. So it has a higher mode, and that does not have PWM. Um, overall, that doesn't really change my view of the, of the light, because, you know, it's kind of one of those things where they could have given us instructions, and then this wouldn't have been an, an issue. And it's like a weird UI, right? You turn the light on, and then you click down, and then it seems like yeah, there are only two modes. But you've got to push and hold to get to the highest mode. Which is, I don't know, that's very strange. Um, anyway, I'm going to go redo the beam shots now. And uh, what a waste of time. Well, I mean, I didn't want to look like Linus Tech Tips. So if you like the effort that I put in, like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Alright, guys. Now we've got the generic XHB50 headlamp on. Uh, it's on its highest mode now. So that's the new discovered mode. It would have been better if they would have just given me like some kind of instructions or whatnot. 
um, and you can see there's basically no PWM. Now, does this change my mind of should you purchase this light? Well, probably not because how often are you going to be using this light on the highest mode? And for how long is the highest mode going to last, like realistically? So we'll turn it down. Actually, I don't know if, even know if you can. So the UI is so weird. So you can't even just turn it down. And there we go. That's medium mode. So yeah, I don't know, this UI is super weird. You can see it's got some really bad PWM on medium mode and on low mode. And it doesn't even go to low mode, you've got to click it off. And then you've got to click it on to low mode. And you can see that low mode also has bad PWM. But if we push and hold, we might be able to get back to turbo mode. And yeah, you can. So actually on turbo mode, the output isn't too bad. Maybe around 500 lumens, I think. Maybe a little bit extra, 600. Does a pretty good job of lighting up the backyard here. We're here for some nostalgic beam shots at the old school place. Give us a like and subscribe for the old yard here. Look, the lemon tree's even got um, lemons on it now. Anyway, we will compare it to the Nightcore HT30 next and see how it does side by side. Alright guys, so this is the Nightcore HT30 on its highest mode. This headlamp has had 7 years of abuse and it's using super floody optics, so it's not going to be that bright because um, the optics make it like super floody. Look at how wide the beam is. But that's what I like when I'm fishing, so I can have it on a higher mode and I can still put a knot on the line. And so to the left here, we have the uh, generic XHP 50 headlamp. And to the right over here, we have the um, Nightcore HC30. I think I'll turn the Nightcore off for a second. Oop. And um, yeah, I think the Nightcore is probably still a little bit brighter. Not by much. They are both using optics, but the Nightcore definitely has a flattier optic. I'll put the Nightcore back on for a sec. And that's the Nightcore there. I don't know, it's pretty close. Alright guys, so last but not least is the uh, H25LR or D25LR by Sofren. Uh, whatever you want to call it. This will be the biggest competitor to, to that generic headlamp. Because it is priced pretty similar. They are about 15 20 US dollars max. And it's got a neutral white tint. And it is obviously a lot brighter. So we'll put the generic headlamp on here to the left and that's the uh, H or D25 LR there. So yeah, you can see if you're going to keep it stock, I would still definitely just go by like a D10, D, D25 or whatever. I'll turn the uh, D25 off now and this is just a generic headlamp on. Yeah, so I'll definitely still buy one of the uh, D or H series over this um, headlamp. If you're going to mod it, um, the headlamp could be a good choice. I still haven't taken out the uh, the uh, bezel yet because it is press fit and glued in. But um, yeah, so you're going to have to kind of take a risk. It just stepped down there too. It's not even hot. So you'd have to probably check out the pill inside. But it does, they just let me step back up. So who knows? Yeah. Um, yeah, so overall, yeah. I would probably still buy something else besides this the generic headlamp unless you're going to mod it anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video um like and subscribe and thanks for watching